going on guys let's do this problem right here here this question is asking to find out the volume when we rotate this region around the x is equal to 5 now to do this problem first of all we have to do the graph the graph is going to look like this first we are going to have a parabola that's opening up because this is positive and we don't have any addition or subtraction this means this is going to go through the origin right so this is going to go through the origin and the second line is y is equal to 4 this is going to pass through y is equal to 4 line right now the region we are interested in is this region and also they have mentioned that this we are rotating this one around x is equal to 5 x is equal to 5 is going to be a line that is parallel to y axis so this is going to be the line right now let's say this is 5 and we are rotating this one like this and to do this one the best method is cylindrical cell method to use cylindrical cell method we had to use this equation that is v is equal to 2 phi integration a to b radius times the height since we are rotating this one around x is equal to 5 x is equal to 5 is a line that's parallel to y axis right so when we have something parallel to y axis or around y axis in cylindrical cell method we had to use px and if you have done the cross section or disk washer method you may have seen when you rotate this one around y axis you have to use dy but for cylindrical cell method you have to use the opposite one that is dx now in order to do this problem first of all we have to know the limits of integration radius and the height limit to find the limits of integration all we have to do is equate these two equations this is x square and this is 4 x square is equal to 4 and if you rearrange this one this is going to give you x square minus 4 is equal to 0 and if you notice this pattern this is x square minus 2 square right so we can expand this one like x minus 2 x plus 2 and from this one we know that we are going to have plus 2 and minus 2 so those are the limits of integration those are the those are the touching places this is negative 2 and this is positive 2 now we have the limits of integration now we have to know the radius to find out the radius and radius uh, what we do is we take a slice of this rotating region right you have to take a slice of this rotating region and we have to measure the distance from the rotating axis and that's going to be the radius and we know that the distance from the origin to slice is going to be x it's always x no matter where you put it it's always x and this is r and we know the total distance is going to be 5 from the origin to this rotating region because we are rotating this about x is equal to 5 this is x is equal to 5 so this is 5 this is x so this distance the distance between the slice and this 5 it's going to be x minus 5 because 5 minus x will give us this value right so this is radius is going to be 5 minus x now we have to find the height to find the height what we do is we take the top graph and subtract we take the top minus bottom those that's going to be the height right so top is y is equal to 4 and bottom is y is equal to x square so 4 minus x square is going to be the height now we have all the information now we can go ahead and do the integration this is going to be 2 phi and integral negative 2 to positive 2 radius is 5 minus x and the height is 4 minus x square dx now let's uh, get rid of this part because we need the space right here we have 2 phi integral negative 2 to 2 if you multiply this one 5 times 4 is giving you 2 is going to give you 20 and then 5 times minus x square is going to give us negative 5x square and negative x times 4 is going to give us negative 4x and then negative x times negative x square is going to give us positive x cube dx now we, we can't simplify this one furthermore so let's write this one in terms of descending order so this is going to be 2 phi integration negative 2 to 2 
and it's going to go from x cube minus 5x square minus 4x plus 20 dx. Now this is one is this one is easy to integrate. Let's do the integration. This is going to be x power 4 divided by 4, 5x cube divided by 3, minus 4x square divided by 2, plus 20x. And this is going from negative 2 to positive 2. Now let's apply the upper limits of integration. If we apply upper limits of integration, this is going to be 2 phi. 2 power 4 is going to be 16, 16 divided by 4 and then minus 5x cube 2 power 2 cube is going to be, give us 8 so 2 cube is 8 5 times 8 divided by 3 minus 4 2 square is going to give us 4 so this is going to be 4 divided by 2 and then we have 20x that's going to be 20 times 2 now we have to apply the lower limits of integration Low, lower limits of integration is negative 2 if you apply negative 2 for this one, negative 2 power 4 is going to give us 16 because this is an even power. So we will get a positive answer. So this is going to give us positive 16 over 4 minus 5 times x cube. So this is negative 2 cube. This is an odd number. So we are going to have a negative number. 2 cube is 8. So this is going to be negative 8 right here. And then we are going to have 3 in the denominator minus 4 times negative 2 square that's going to give us positive 4 and then that's divided by 2 plus 20 times minus 2 right now here we are running out of space let's continue this one right here <coughs> okay <coughs> so let's simplify this one first we have 2 5 and then 16 divided by 4 that's going to give us 4 minus 8 times 5 is going to be 40 40 divided by 3 that's going to be 40 divided by 3 minus 4 times 4 that's going to be 16 divided by 2 that's going to give us 8 so this is going to give us 8 right here and 20 times 2 that's going to be 40 and then here we have negative negative 16 over 14 that's going to give us negative 4 so this is going to be negative 4 this is going to give us 8 times negative 5, negative 40 divided by 3. That's going to be negative 40 divided by 3. But negative, negative, this is going to be positive. And then we have again another negative. That's going to make this one negative again. So this is going to be negative 40 over 3. And then we have negative 4 times 4 divided by 2. That's going to give us 16 over 2. That's going to be negative 8. Negative times negative, that's going to be positive again and this is going to be positive 8 and then we have 20 times negative 2 that's going to be negative 40 negative 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 that's going to give us positive so this is going to be a positive 40 now let's cancel everything we can cancel and if you notice we have 4 right here and negative 4 right here so we can cancel these two and also we have negative 8 positive 8 we can cancel these two too and then we are left with negative 40 negative 40 divided by 3 if you add them together this is going to give you negative 80 over 3 and then we have 80 now if we multiply this 80 by 3 that's going to give us 240 so this is going to be 2 5 times negative 80 divided by 3 plus 240 divided by 3 and if you add them together 240 minus 80 that's going to give us 160 160 divided by 3 multiplied by 2 5 that's going to give us 325 over 3 and that's going to be the final answer and that's going to be the volume when we rotate this region around x is equal to 5 and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope it helps see you next time